Hello, this is Reza Rad from Radicad. In this video, I'm going to show you how to create a year month combination in any format you want and use that in your report, such as a slicer, axes. Um, let's see how this is possible using DAX. Uh, in an ideal world in Power BI um, or any BI analysis, uh, any analytics report, it is ideal that you have a date table, a custom date table that you have uh, fields, each field representing an attribute of a date related attribute such as year, month and uh, quarter, week, day. You can also have a column for uh, year month combination. Uh, however, I'm just going to show you if you don't have it, how it is possible to create it. I have a very simple situation here, just one table. That table has a date column in it. Uh, now I'm going to add a, a specific format, um, such as, for example, Jan 20 uh, or December 21, right? I want to have this format that I can then use it in my reporting as an axis of a visual or a slicer. Let's see how it is possible. It is possible using both Power Query and DAX, but in this video, I'm going to just show you how it is possible in DAX. First, you need to add a new column uh, in the Power BI, which would be a calculated column. Now, this column can be uh, called year, month, whatever you want to call this. This is not really important, the name of the column. What is important is that you actually need two columns. The first column is going to be the label that you are showing in your visual, in axes of the visual or a slicer, anywhere like that. And a second column for the sorting of the first column. Uh, I'll show you uh, what I mean in a second. Uh, so I want a year month combination. One of the best functions that can help with this is called format. Uh, format is quite simple function. You'll pass the input value. In this case, it's date. Uh, and um, I'm not using my default date table. I'm just using the date. And then I pass the format. Format is a value inside a double quote as a text string format expression. The third parameter is locale. We don't use that for now. Now, in terms of format, there are characters that you can use. Y is for year, M is for month. For example, if I want four digits of year and then two digits for month, this can be the format. Uh, these can be lowercase as well. I just put it uppercase because I'm used to do it, but otherwise there is no difference lowercase or uppercase. So this would generate something like this. As you can see, four digits for year, two digits for month. There is a space between those, and that is because I have a space here as well. Whatever you put in that middle would, all, would appear here. Like, for example, if I put a hyphen or a dash, that dash will appear here. Instead of two M's, I can use uh, three M. That means uh, month three character only. It wouldn't be full name of the month. It would be name of the month, but only the first three characters, Jan, Feb, Mar, as you can see. Uh, or if I use four M, that would be then the full month name, right? You can use this in any combinations you want. For example, if I want uh, first the full month name, then I want year, it can be like this format. If I want the three digits, uh, sorry, the three character month name, but then only two digits of the year, uh, then it can be like this. Uh, this is quite popular format uh, because it is shorter and you can have it in the axis of your chart. In any format you like, you can just use that. Uh, I explained how what these are actually meaning in the article down below. Uh, what is the meaning of each character? Go and check it out. Uh, now, the next thing is that this column by itself normally is not enough because now if I go and add this in a visual, let's say in a slicer, for example, uh, if I add this, what you'll see is that the sorting is not correct. Now, in another video, I explained about how the sort, why the sorting is not correct, because this is alphabetical sorting. Uh, so this sorting is not really chronological order of the month years. 
that is why I'm I said that we need two columns we need another column that can be used for the sorting of this column that can be another calculated column again a new column I'm going to call this year month code and I'm using again the same format function I pass the date field again here the date field in your table whatever it is the format four digits for year two digits for month without any space I can just use that um, this would be all digits actually six digits it is formatted as a text because the output of format function is always a text value so it is six digits formatted as a text then I can convert it to number if I want but even if I don't convert it to a number it would be always sorted correctly even if it is text because these values are in the right order I'll just change it to number anyway so the data type of this is now changed to number now I want that column the year month column to be sorted by this column again I explained that in another video here I just do it I'll select the year month column under column tools under select by uh, sort by column I'll choose the code column so this actually sorts based on that uh, once this is done if I go to my report I'll see that this is sorted correctly this time the chronological order of the sorting one last thing here is of course this column is used to sort that column you cannot delete it but it is good to hide it in report view because when you do that then uh, then user won't get confused that what is this column so you just have your year month column that you can use it in your reporting again I strongly recommend to have a date table with all of these columns in it uh, there is a link in the description below uh, to a fully fledged date dimension script power query script that you can just copy and paste it in your um, in your uh, power query window as a blank query and get a full date dimension including these columns as well uh, and you can customize it I would strongly suggest that but if you just need it for a specific like proof of concept work or something very quick this is how to do it I hope you enjoyed this video if you like this video go ahead and subscribe into our YouTube channel we have weekly videos on Power BI thank you mm -hmm.